in light of the times that we're living in right now, it would probably be a good, wise uh, investment of your time if you would listen to 47 short videos. They're all between three and five minutes each by Father Ripperger on communism. It's basically spiritual warfare and communism. When Father Ripper does these 47 five-minute videos, they're all under five minutes. What he does is he shows, because again, he's been an exorcist for 16 years, he shows the behavior of demons and communists is completely congruent. When you listen to him, you will fall off your chair because this is exactly what's been imported into the United States through the Democrat Party is communism. Uh, Mr. Engineer... Can you play the clip from Father Ripperger called Commun Spiritual Warfare on Communism? One of the things that exorcists observe is that demons try and control every single aspect of our lives. In my book on psychology called The Introduction to the Science of Mental Health, I make the observation in uh, one of the chapters in the third part about how people who try and control everybody else is is the product of them having no internal self-control. In other words, because they can't control themselves, they have to control everybody else in order to feed this app these their appetites of what they want. Demons use temptation versus other forms of diabolic attack to slowly gain control over the individual. In other words, demons will use various forms of temptation to slowly kind of gain control over the individual. And if you give in to them, you've already ceded a little bit of power or area in your life to them. Their ultimate goal is to control every aspect of a person's life and to eventually have him in hell under him, because if a demon managed to get gets you to commit the sin for which you are damned, you are under him in hell, and they want that way they can control you for the rest of eternity because you're under them. And in hell, the there's no love, no good, no nothing except power. So everything is about power. Communists. In relationship to them, there is no aspect of a person's day-to-day -day life which they don't want to have absolute and complete control. You see this in the, our government right now. There's not a single area of our life that isn't taxed, that isn't trying to be controlled, that isn't trying to be uh, manipulated, or that they're trying to position themselves in order to have complete control of literally every aspect of our lives. This is why they are developing technology and working with people that are heads of technological companies in order to attract, control, as well as spy on people continuously. They basically want to maximize their control. Why? Because communism is not a system which persuades the masses. It persuades a percentage of the people. Certain people will sign off or uh, give assent to the ideas of communism, but in the end, a majority of the people realize it's a bogus political system or in a bogus way of looking at life and philosophically, etc. And so the only way they can maintain the power, because eventually the people will just simply overthrow them. The only way they can maintain power is by having complete control over every aspects of people's lives. You cannot control somebody if you don't know what they're doing. This is why they wanted to develop all sorts of forms of surveillance and keeping track of people. Just as with demons, one wants to control someone else is the product of himself being out of control. In other words, there is great moral corruption among communists. You can read that among the people who have been in it and gotten out. They don't have interior virtue and discipline and self-control. They have a kind of diabolic discipline in trying to achieve their agenda, but not in the area of moral lives. So when it comes to relating with other people, they don't have any internal discipline and can't relate to people with that discipline. So they ultimately want to basically take away everybody's freedom in relationship to choosing what they're going to do. In other words, they don't want people to have a certain amount of freedom. Those who are communists try to control people 
And this is a sign that they themselves lack interior control and a certain amount of interior freedom to be able to take or leave something. In other words, part of a person having a certain amount of virtue in relationship to something is they can take it or leave it. Whereas a person who has vice, they're just constantly inclined towards it and they can't resist in relationship to it. And this gives us an indication that communism is a vicious system. When a person or a group of people, that is a movement like communism, seeks to control people, it's a sign of viciousness, ultimately. Both demons and communists cannot live and let live. They're both compulsive and try to control others. That's one of the ways that you can discern a communist. If he cannot live and let live, that's a pretty good sign he's a communist. You've been listening to a short little video made by Father Chad Ripperger, who's uh, been an exorcist for the last uh, 16 years. He runs uh, Liber Cristo and the Deloran Fathers. That's the name of his order, the Deloran Fathers. Uh, and what he's done, he's done the church a big favor because what he's done, he's put out 47 short little videos showing the connection the, the, the behavior which is congruent between demons and communists. Why do I say this is important? Because this is exactly what's been imported into America through the Democrat Party. And this is exactly what we as Catholics are fighting against. The church, the church has always spoken out against communism. The church has always spoken out against socialism. But now, unfortunately, it's infiltrated not only politics, but it's also infiltrated the church. Here are some of the connections that Father Ripperger makes in, re in relation to demons and communists. He says that demons try to control every aspect of our lives. People who... who um, who are trying to control others have no internal self-control. He says demons use various kinds. Uh, <clears throat> demons use various kinds of temptation to slowly, slowly gain control over an individual. A demon's goal is to control every aspect of a person's life and to eventually have him under him. But if a demon gets you to commit the sin for which you go to hell for, guess what? You're under that demon forever. That way they can control you forever and torture you forever for the rest of eternity. And in hell, there's no love, there's no good, there's only raw, naked power by demons. Father Ripperger says that communists are the same. They behave the same as demons. They want to have complete control and power over people. That's our government right now. That's the Democrat Party right now. They want to have complete control over us. Get the jab. Six feet apart. You know, uh, you need to get uh, uh, this pass, uh, you know, your vax pass to, to get on the plane. And they're still not, it's still not over, trust me. They're thinking about other ways to control us through big tech and big pharma. And since they control basically all the mainstream media, but for a few channels, they know that they can get their information, disseminate their information to many low information Americans. Yep. Communists like our government, want complete control of our lives. You see our government right now under the Biden administration, unelected Joe Biden, there isn't a single area that isn't taxed or controlled or manipulated by our government. And by the way, <laughs> here we go. If you look at the history of wars in this country, when, when Democrats have the reins of power, you can almost be assured that we're going to go to war. Guess what? We're in a proxy war with Russia right now through Ukraine. And Putin knows this. Putin knows that we're the money behind Ukraine, behind the equipment and behind all the military, uh, all the military ammunition. It's the U.S. And so 
unelected Joe Biden is flirting with nuclear war. Why? Russia has the, the over 6,000 nuclear warheads. They have the most nuclear warheads of anybody on planet Earth, of any nation. I looked it up yesterday just to make sure that I was accurate. The U.S. were number two. We have about 5,000 nuclear warheads. For both these superpowers to go and go to uh, uh, to be at war with each other is to assure mutually assured self destruction. And again, it was funny. People were saying when when uh, President Trump was president, "Oh no, he's going to get us into a war. He's going to get us into a war." Under President Trump, we had the greatest four years of peace that we've ever enjoyed all over the world. Communism, and you see it right now in our government, they're working with big tech and big pharma in order to control people and to spy on people. Communism is not a system that persuades, as Mao Zedong says, communism gets what it wants at the end of a gun. Oh yeah, communism can persuade a percentage of low information people, what I would call sheeple. And these people will sign off or give assent to the ideas of communism, but in the end, the majority of people realize that communism doesn't work. It's a horrible political system. And the only way communists can maintain power is by having complete control over every aspect of people's lives, which includes businesses, banks, education. You cannot control someone if you do not know what they're doing. And that's what the left's always trying to, that, that's why the left is always trying to find ways of surveillance against their citizens in order to keep track of us. And this is why demons who want to control others, they're also a product of being out of control. We'll be right back. Terry and Jesse's show. Stick around. More good information coming up. <laughs> 